A phased array transducer with a cardiac exam type is used to perform the subxiphoid or subcostal view of the heart. Place the transducer in the subxiphoid position with the transducer orientation marker to the patient's left side at a 3 o'clock position. As an alternative approach, this exam may be performed using an abdomen exam type with the orientation marker to the patient's right side at the 9 o'clock position. This view uses the liver as an acoustic window to visualize the four chambers of the heart. Aim the transducer slightly toward the left shoulder with approximately a 15-degree angle to the chest wall. In some cases, the transducer is almost flat to the abdominal wall, so the ultrasound beam is directed toward the left chest cavity. A considerable amount of ultrasound gel and downward pressure may be required to maintain contact of the transducer face with the abdominal wall. Having the patient bend their knees helps relax the abdominal wall muscles for better transducer positioning. The first structure seen closest to the transducer is the liver. The right side of the heart will appear closer to the transducer than the left side of the heart on the ultrasound image. The myocardium will appear gray and the blood-filled chambers will appear hypoechoic. The bright white pericardium is seen surrounding the heart adjacent to the gray myocardium. Evaluate the function of all chambers. Compare the size of the right and left ventricular cavities. Note any wall motion abnormality and the presence or absence of pericardial effusion.